Greetings everyone and welcome back to Clan Folk. It is the first day of summer in the second year and we have so much that we need to get done in this season. But before we get down to business, I want to give a shout out to uh, two particularly useful comments that I received on the last video. First, Bolin has reminded me how to customize both the alerts tab over the side here. In fact, we're going to just pause it there for a second. Uh, the alerts tab as well as the resource hotbar at the top. Now, in fact, I've gone ahead and I've actually uh, made some changes to the resource hotbar. I haven't taken any of the alerts off yet because when I was looking at what I wanted to remove from the alerts bar I kept thinking oh well this is useful this is useful so I think I'm just gonna play and see what feels like uh, an annoying reminder that doesn't really need to be there and I'll remove it at that point but for those of you who would like to know you can come in here into the inventory screen you've got several tabs down the bottom of the various uh, types of uh, resources you might have and if you click on any of these you can choose whether it appears at the top by uh, toggling bookmark and you can choose whether it will show alerts if you have a low supply of it when you're trying to craft something in relation to it um, so you can have those on or off for now pretty much everything that comes as default with a lot alerts on it will remain that way but we'll tweak that as we go the other tip that i received was actually uh, quite a cool one by parties over who said the smallest room that can have the huge modifier is a five by seven tile room if you divide that room evenly, straight down the middle with a wall, you'll end up with two uh, rooms of 3 by 5 and those happen to be the smallest possible large rooms. So you can go from one huge room to two large rooms. If you, again, divide a large room evenly straight down the middle, you'll end up with two 2 by 3 rooms, which happens to be the smallest room size for a normal room, which will have no negative penalty. There is a smaller, um, small room, and then there's the tiny room as well. So you can get really, really small. I, I think a tiny room is literally a 1 by 2. It's big enough for a single bed, and that has a massive debuff on it, a, a really particularly uh, nasty uh, negative moodlet. So uh, that's actually pretty cool, and with that information, I think we're probably going to be changing this room even further. So uh, that's one of the things that we're going to be ending in summer. I would like to set up... <sighs> Well, honestly, a proper inn of sorts, but uh, that's going to come a little bit later. Now, we've got a couple. Oh, uh, we've got two jobbers. Okay, well, uh, I guess we're going to start off with this. Job Seeker has arrived. Uh, we've got Kristen and Willia. Okay, Kristen, let's have a look at you. Uh, we can take you on higher for 53. Hmm, okay, well, that's not too bad, I suppose. Oh, I see why. You've got a harvest skill of 12 out of 18 okay you're very good at this and considering that we are actually going to have a lot of planting jobs this summer that might be uh, an interesting one for us to take but that is quite a lot of money and it's uh, not like you'll be able to join us with the family here you are however healthy and an optimist okay duly noted let's have a look at William. William is a much more more comfortable 33 coins a day much lower skills as well sadly although you're not too bad at cleaning and uh, well you know that's one of the top jobs for our, our odd jobbers you've got a fast metabolism i think samuel samuel is a pessimist that's an automatic oof that's going to be really really a rough one i think if you have two parents who are pessimists it can be particularly difficult to ever have them have a, a child together because their moods do need to be at a certain threshold for them to be willing to have children. And I think if both of them are pessimists, you're going to have a really uphill battle with that one. But uh, even one pessimist can be a difficult one. You've also got a slow metabolism. It means you eat less food but also that you move 10% slower. The way it, it deals with the food is that uh, any character has a natural um, modifier to their, like, their satiety, their food bar, of minus 5 per second, but slow metabolism increases that by 2 per second, so in actual fact they're only losing 3 uh, instead of 5. Whereas fast metabolism, I think, is the opposite. So this is an additional minus two on food. So uh, for Willia, it would be minus seven per second, but they get a pretty big boost to uh, their work efficiency. 
uh, with a, an extra 1,000 to the max. And I think uh, work efficiency goes down throughout the day. Is that true, or is uh, that affected by different things? Oh no, it's affected by by mood. So depending on their mood, they might uh, have a, a particularly poor work efficiency. But because they, uh, Willia has a fast metabolism, they can kind of weather the effect of a uh, of a low mood a little bit better before it starts hitting their efficiency. Plus, they move ten percent faster, and that's a real nice one. So even with the extra food that will cost, I think you're a better prospect for Amira. So, I'm afraid, Samuel, you're going to be heading out. Uh, Kristen, you're also going to be heading out. We're going to... T oh, I'll turn off the job board in a moment. First, we're going to hire Willia. Don't turn off the job bo board first because that will, I think, disable them as a job seeker. But there we go. That's a, that's a big uh, step in the right direction. Now, looking around, we've got an awful lot of jobs to do. Uh, we've got several building jobs. We've got an awful lot of planting jobs. And we've also got a trader, Rory, from Clan Forbes, who has brought us some eggs. Uh, we totally don't need extra meat. But eggs, to uh, that, that seems like a really uh, good one to grab. I could pick up the fertilizer, actually. Though it costs, well... Actually, it's not that bad, and getting some fertilizer down on the fields would be quite nice early on. So sure, I'll grab that one. We've unlocked add fertilizer as an ability, and there's a couple of other things that we can do with that. Now, in terms of what we could sell, I think we can part ways with a couple of planks. Sure, just to make some money back there. Thank you ever so much for your help. Uh, right, now, to uh, quickly cover some stuff. With regards to fertilizer, there are there are several things you can do with it. One, you can fertilize your fields, and that will help out in a lot of ways. If we have a look right now, we've got uh, some uh, fertility around just from where the animals have been and where they've been pooping and obviously the poop holes but uh, that fertilizer can be applied to the fields right now they need water and that will be done first but then they'll be able to add fertilizer to make the fields especially nice you can of course uh, override this and expressly tell them where to add fertilizer but you can also just add it out and about and as long as the area is reasonably hydrated then things will start growing there for example grass so if we have a look here the moisture is fairly low what i might do is if those, that fertilizer is still around by the time that that uh, it next rains we'll try and just apply some fertilizer out here and just let the grass naturally grow that will take a little bit of the pressure off our peeps having to plant but on the topic of having to plant there are a lot of jobs right now we've got 667 that is frankly too many jobs. So let's have a look at what the the most uh, the, the biggest contributors to that are. It's definitely farming with 444 planting jobs. We've also got 127 harvesting jobs and then 80 hauling. With this in mind, I think it is highly advisable for us to tweak everyone's priorities to clear some of these jobs out of the way. Obviously, we need certain jobs um, always done as a bit of a priority, um, such as cooking, for example. But let's try and reduce the amount of harvest, shall we? Okay, there we go. I think this should be a decent setup for us right now. Uh, you may notice that I have very heavily prioritized the jobs that people are particularly happy with, and we've got a good spread of jobs. Amira is particularly happy with gathering. Bentham is uh, happy with clothes, uh, with tailoring, sorry. Uh, Kyra is very happy to farm. I will... Well, actually, no, I'll, I'll keep cooking relatively high for there. Uh, of our two jobbers... Uh, Agnes is uh, happy to do any kind of lumber craft or, or uh, lumberjacking, cutting down trees or working them in the timbery. Uh, that one is an important one to remember as I frequently forget that the timbery is governed by the lumber skill rather than the crafting skill. Uh, cooking is Willia's passion, so we have that one up nice and high. I do have the majority of the indoors, like crafting, building, tailoring, that sort of uh, job. It's still present in the family over the jobbers but pretty much everyone has a fairly high priority for farming though uh, Amira and Bentham uh, the least of all and then harvesting again is a fairly well it's a relatively stable kind of middle priority for most people though uh, Amira very much doesn't like it and I am keeping those at the bottom uh, still we may change that if there is a particular need but I think this is going to be a good set of skills for us to get most of the work done now we've still got a lot to do in here 
We've got a lot more room that we can play around with, and that's something that I would like to, to change. Uh, let's go ahead and move this down. There you go. The butcher block can go in there instead. I would kind of like to change this around a little bit. And uh, for that, I'm going to need someone to come and uh, break that down first. Because all I want to do is change the way it faces, but you can't place it back over itself when moving the uh, position. Now, the sad thing with the, uh, the food bowls here is this is going to cause the the water and the food to be deleted. That's just the way that is, but uh, we can uh, absorb that loss, I think. Now, there are a couple of other things we want to do. First and foremost, I want to put the, uh, the uh, floor mat over here, the doormat really, but uh, I, I think of it, uh, I think of it as a, as a doormat more than a floor mat, but I guess you can just put them anywhere you want. Now, we're also running on a new version, and that's actually worth bringing up. We've now unlocked decorative hides. Now, this is the kind of the test case for decoration. Decoration is probably going to expand quite considerably, but this is this is the first type of decoration that's in the game, and that is the, just like a, a general hide decoration. Now, we can have this um, maintained, but when you place them down, there's a couple of ways that you can place them. Uh, let's have a look. Do we actually have... I probably need to make one before I can uh, showcase it. But effectively, you can use this as a wall hanging, or you can have it as a, a throw over the bed. If we have a look at the idea, Oh, it's uh, gone for now, but uh, if we come back in here, this has an indoor um, positive of 25. Nothing for the outdoor, but that's only in one of its configurations. That has a bed throw. This, uh, incidentally, has actually caused a fairly big change to the way the, the kind of uh, under the hood operation of the, the game works, because up until now, objects couldn't exist in the same space. It was always a case of two, uh, at least in terms of built objects, um, it was always a case of, of two uh, structures couldn't occupy the same tile. But with this, because you can have things thrown over a bed, this now counts. But additionally, you can lay this down as a rug across the floor. At that point, you might want other things on top of the rug as well. So that's actually changed in the background. I'm really excited to see where this goes. The th final configuration is you can actually throw it over a wall, like a kind of hanging tapestry sort of thing. Um, and those drastically change the, the quality of it. Now, one of the other things I'm going to want to do is we're going to want to move a bed down here into this room, though knowing what I now know, this is only going to be a large room and not a, uh, not a huge room, which is a bit of a shame, but uh, it's something that we can work on. Right, let's get that done there. And also, there are a couple of walls that still remain to be upgraded, and we may as well go ahead and uh, upgrade those. Now, I might need to replace the window down here when this gets replaced. We'll have a look at that in a few. Now, we've got loads of stones there as well, so let's go ahead and place down some more stones. Uh, there we go, some more stone floor. I'm also going to have to get a lot of uh, clay brought in, so let's set that up. Now, the gather clay job what kind of job is that it is just a gathering job okay well that's uh, that's pretty good but let's speed up time we've got an awful lot of things that we need to get done hopefully the changes in the the skills will in fact help with that we've got an enormous amount of work to do out here whether we're going to be able to get all of this work done in summer that's uh, that remains to be seen but uh, hopefully we will right we've unlocked decoration stockpile though in the patch notes the dev did mention that decorations don't have any kind of um, storage receptacle, so it's just the stockpile, and they take up a lot of room. Also, it is raining, so I'm just going to pause it there for a moment because we've got a couple of things I want to showcase. But uh, I will pop down well, a decoration stockpile somewhere, I guess. Uh, we'll pop a little one over here for now. We'll just pop that in there. But the decorations themselves, where would these be? Oh, there's a new tab. Okay, so... We can already see decoration is gone here. Effectively, the bed now acts as a storage place for decorative heights. Now, if we look in the environment, uh, environmental overlay, uh, that's actually very interesting. It is only the bottom tile that is being affected. I wonder if that's considered the activity tile of a bed. I would have thought it would have been the head of the bed. But if it is the bottom, then I'm going to have to change some of my plans as I was going to try and do, like, nightstands and, and like, um 
warmth at the top so that it, it, it was cast across the top of the bed because uh, each fire kind of has a, a little radius where it always keeps them warm and you get a fireside buff from it. But uh, that was something I'll have to look into. But if we look here, that uh, environment there is 15. Over here, it's minus 10. So that is, in fact, 25 uh, increase. So that's the effect of just putting a throw on a, a bed. However, if we look in here at the floor hide, this has a positive of 100. Outdoors, it has a positive of 50. It is a two by two tile though, and it may, given that little tile there, only affect a single spot. But the wall heights, now these are the really interesting ones. You can't place them on the back side of walls because you can't see it, and that's something to bear in mind. So you, you kind of want to build your rooms in such a way that if you're gonna be hanging these wall tiles, that the, the sort of the uh, south face is visible and east and west. So if you're gonna put a door in a room, um, put it put it in the south wall uh, so that you've got the north wall's south face visible to hang a hide on. I hope that was clear. It was a little bit uh, of a mouthful. Uh, but we have a plus 50, an outdoors plus 25. So realistically, in a one-tile room, yes, I am absolutely thinking of these rooms, we would be able to get a solid 150 bonus. Now, with the poop hole, that won't matter. This environment is minus 500, though outdoors is only minus 100. So if you have a couple of uh, outhouses without roofs on them, then using the hanging, well, actually, it would still only be 75, but it would drastically reduce that negative. But later on, when we've got toilets, we might actually be able to make the toilets a pleasant place to be, despite there being a toilet in it with those wall hangings. That is something that I'm very much looking forward to there. Now, at the moment, our crafting room is anything but efficient, but we can make some changes there. First and foremost, I would like to move the thresher down by a single tile. You may notice that no one is prioritizing cleaning and you can tell, but hopefully uh, it won't have to go too long until that's all sorted. Ah, fantastic, we've got the plank stack, which is something I really wanted to set up. Now, I believe I've already mentioned that when a building has a storage receptacle, a relevant storage receptacle close by, it can automatically use that storage. That is a big, big help for us, as that will massively cut down on travel times in some instances. Now, given that, I think we can drastically improve the efficiency of our timbery by moving this up. So we're going to do a little bit of something something. I'm going to place the timbery there. I'm going to grab the log pile always look for the little circle there it's a little bit harder on the ghost images to see it sometimes but the interaction point is here we're going to place that one in there now there were plank piles as well a plank stack rather we'll pop that one down with a little interaction point there i would also like a uh, branch pile right about here the whole thing is an interaction spot basically now do we have the uh, bark bin yet. Let's have a quick look. Do I have that set up? I don't yet, but it's probably only a matter of time. So once all of this is, is set up in here, then that's going to be fantastic for us. I'm going to let them get all of that done. Hopefully they can bring that in nice and quickly. Uh, there we go. Also getting the uh, logs chopped up as well. So with regards to the log pile, we're obviously not going to be trying to maintain a certain amount of logs or at least we're not going to be doing that from the uh, timbery itself but once we have an idea of how many um, how many planks the uh, plank stack can hold we will maintain that exact amount right we've got our guest they are from uh, or, or Tom, I guess it would be, uh, from Clan Boyd. Welcome, Tom. Come on in. Get yourself situated. Now, as I said, our goals for this summer, and we're only in the evening of the first day, is to properly expand out the inn. I would like several dedicated rooms, but there's a lot more that goes into making a an inn, quote-unquote, than just uh, bedrooms. Uh, furthermore, I would like to try and get some... Uh, more spaces dug out in the mountain. I would like to have a proper smithy 
if we can set that up, that would be fantastic. An actual place where we don't have to worry about sparks being cast and we have uh, a proper amount of storage. But this workroom in here is a good start. Now, there's an awful lot of jobs yet to do, though I am seeing that a decent amount of uh, of planting has already happened also i believe yes they, they are starting or, or already have it's probably um 10 per tile but they have started placing uh sorry fertilizer in these fields that's actually pretty awesome all right we're gonna pass a little bit of time uh, it is coming up to the uh, it is sunset on the first day and i'm pretty happy with the amount of work that we've got done i will see you on the morrow Okay, we've got a couple of traders. Uh, Isabel uh, has got a dog and a pullet. But I don't think we're going to take them. I will, however, take the fertilizer and the eggs, certainly. Is there anything I really want to sell? I could sell some planks, and sure, I may as well. Let's get uh, my plank storage uh, calmed down. That brings us up to 1,221 coins. Very nice indeed. Uh, additionally, we've got some ash. Useful, but not something we need right now. I will take the logs straight away, though. Thank you very much for that, Katrin. Now, uh, we have already pulled down most of this wall, but we've not actually replaced it with anything, which is a little bit of a problem in and of itself. Uh, we are replacing the uh, axe, though, which is very, very good. Do we need more clay? We probably will need more clay, I'm thinking. Yeah, we've only got 42, so let's go ahead and pop down a bit more of clay gathering to happen. Also going to be pulling down all of the reeds around here for some easy straw. Uh, on that note, uh, good. Oat grain is actually a higher priority than straw right now. Ooh, we've got another trader as well. And the reason why that's important is oat grain, is, when you're auto uh, automatically creating straw, you'll create it from hay. You won't create it from oat chief, even though you get straw from processing oat chief. You have to process oat chief as the grain in order to turn it into straw. Alternatively, you can just click on it and demolish it, but you won't get seeds back from that. You have got a bunch of ore I would very much like. Also, you're willing to purchase some of our excess warm clothing so you may as well take that have we got uh another adult uh yes we do we've got another adult ram sure though its care isn't full up yet so let me just uh see if their care will rise no it's uh still at only 95 100 is the complete amount let me have a look at you why is your care not rising right now? It's rain, you need beds. Ah, my bad. I do apologize. That was actually something that someone else mentioned in the comments, that we had run out of animal beds. You are quite, quite correct. And we need to get all of those done as a priority. Uh, let me remove the straw roof there. Cancel that job so I can just click on the bed as I want to raise all of the beds as a very high priority. There we go, that will take care of that, but we need a lot more straw for that. Okay, well, given that, then we might as well just uh, let this ram go, and that should then give them all beds correctly. So that ram can head on out, and at this stage, I would hope that all of the other animals will now consider themselves to have beds. That being said, it still seems like that isn't the case. Yeah, it needs a bed, minus three. Okay, well, we'll get that sorted for you as quickly as we possibly can okay you've realized that you have a bed now have you yes there we go so uh the fact that we didn't have a full complement of beds was massively tanking their uh happiness there which i mean i guess i can understand but uh i wasn't aware that it, it happened quite that quickly but here we are and we've got kittens two new baby kittens have just joined the clan Let's have a look at you two. Oh my lord, two new baby kittens. I'm going to have to add so many more cat beds. Okay, uh, you have adopted Amira, and you have adopted Bentham. That is incredibly cute. All right, well, I need some more names, so give me just a moment. Okay, say hello to my wife's biggest fan, An Ugrak. Thank you ever so much for your patron support. It is enormously appreciated, and I hope you will have long and happy lives here in the clan. Uh, though on that note, I'm going to need to get you some cat beds, aren't I? Uh, there we are. Uh, we will pop a cat bed down here so you can deal with some, uh, some scallywags in there as well, and maybe a cat bed in here as well. There we go. 
spreading out the cat beds, the cats are more likely to hunt rats who are close to where they sleep. So uh, spreading around the cat beds seems to be a pretty pretty uh, solid idea. Right, we have got David from Clan Anderson who's going to be staying the night. Welcome, David. Make yourself at home, my dude. Uh, are you going for food first? Yeah, um, it seems that the um, moment that they're accepted into the clan, or rather that, you know, they're brought in for the night, they will pop to the toilet and then they will grab something to eat, or reverse order, depending on uh, if, uh, if there are any toilets available. We're going to have to factor that in to our placement of uh, amenities around the inn as well. Oh my lord, we really need to get this place cleaned up though. Ugh. And there we go. Now, we've taken in our first harvest, so we've now got the ability to clear stubble. This is on the third of summer, which means we should, uh, assuming they can get the oat grain out of this, maybe even get a second planting done. Once you get to autumn, you can no longer plant any plants. The moment the season transitions, that's it. You can't plant any other plants. But all the way through summer, you can. So try to get as many harvests in as you can. And if you can, just plant a little bit at the, towards the end. I mean, I'm not sure if it'll actually survive to the end of autumn and you'll be able to get a harvest, but uh, I guess we'll find out. But looking over here, Willie would like to join the family. That is amazing. Let's have a look at you then. Your satisfaction is maxed out. Okay. Well, it looks like Amira has uh, got a husband in the making over here in Willia. Uh, 36 per day. So that has actually increased. So as their skills go up, their wage does also increase. But yes, join the family. Now with that, we are going to need a new bed. So let's get one of those thrown down. There you go. And we are going to set that one up for you. This one is no... Well, I guess what we could do instead is... Uh, we'll just move your current bed in there. And then we'll build a new one. But that is wonderful. Now, Willia also needs a name. My lord, we're going to go through the name list reasonably fast today, it seems. Everyone, please say hello to Elrond and Cat. That would have actually been an amazing name for one of the cats, I'm not going to lie. But welcome... To the clan, it looks like uh, Elron is already starting to get some things cleaned. Uh, harvest jobs, yes, I, I, I couldn't, I couldn't stand the look of the filthy workroom. So we have lifted cleaning up reasonably high for you. Uh, Agnes also has uh, hauling reasonably high. I'm going to put the harvest job below your lumber job. I do want you to, to get on with that as quickly as you can. Uh, we do have the windows in place, so we will replace more stuff in there with time. I temporarily paused this building just to uh, allow some other work to be done, but I will unpause it now so Agnes can get back to the job they most enjoy. Now, hopefully we can move that in there reasonably soon and then build another bed because we're going to need another jobber, it seems. Let's... Uh, activate the job board now this place is still a sty i know but we are getting getting there little by little uh, mira thanks to the uh, influx of straw we just got from uh, down here from cutting all the reeds has been busy at work placing all of the animal beds replacing the degraded um floor mats and slowly replacing the flooring in here. So this room is actually starting to look nice if it was ever kept clean. Uh, you'll notice that just random stuff on the ground, though, does uh, decay the environment of the room. But even still, this room does have a positive environment. And we finally have enough idea points. It, it's, it has been hard to sit on those idea points, trust me. But we now have the idea points necessary to unlock the smithy. This is going to give us access to a lot of things down here. So let's go ahead and activate that one. Uh, do we have the bark bin yet? Oh, that's actually down here, needs nails for it. Okay, well, we need to place in a smithy. Now, like uh, the bloomery, oh, the bloomery is now next to wooden walls. Let us move that, shall we? That should allow us to start work on nails. Right, we no longer need the the flammable blocker there, but we are going to need a flammable blocker down here, so let's get that one done as well. So we're going to want flammable blockers pretty much around this entire area. Let's just make sure there's nothing kept here that can be uh, set on fire, because that would be rather awful. Uh, we've got lots of clothing bins around the place, and that's something I would like to change up. Uh, let's get... Elrond and Cats moved in there, and we'll get another bed down as well. Oh, it's all go at the moment. 
Right, there we go. That'll be available to our next jobbers. And slowly, little by little, things are starting to look good in here. Oh, now this is an interesting one. We already have a guest here, Janet, but this is the first time that we've seen two guests show up of a night. Gristle would also like to stay. Unfortunately, we don't really have room for you, Gristle. So I'm afraid, well, I guess technically we might be able to. No, it's already time off time. So I'm going to say no to this one. You can uh, head off for now, Gristle. But uh, I guess we could put an extra sleep mat in here. However, the private room bonus is probably the most important of all of the bonuses. It's vastly more important than a, uh, a large room, for example, which this is. I think a huge room gets plus three, but private room gets plus four. All right, we've got a trader and a new... Janet, did you come back? I'm not actually sure if there's any way to tell, but uh, Janet of Clan Anderson requires 45 a day. Let's have a look at your spread of skills. You're actually not bad with clothes. That's uh, quite a nice one. But we are definitely going to be hiring you, so come along in, and this will now be assigned to you. There we are. We might even want to bring in some more jobbers and i think that is definitely something we want to do we need we've got a lot of jobs to do right now um you can sleep over here i guess so we're gonna leave that one open uh, as for the trader we could buy quite a lot of things actually we could even buy the dry peat bricks which may unlock a few things already for us but i don't think it's something we need to focus on too much oh that's a good point we now need to keep at least four of something okay um well let's sell the the hood for now but we do need a fur cloak and until we have at least the amount that we want i'm going to dial back the extra supply to five on everything because it's going to cost us a, a fair bit to uh, actually Put, uh, get all of the leather together. That being said, I guess we could go out and hunt. Uh, it'll be easier to see at night when it's cold and I can turn on our thermal goggles and spot animals by their body heat. But for the time being, what I would like are deer. And there we go. Right, We've got uh, a fawn there, a hind, another hind. We've got a couple of fawns. Let's go for one of the stags. Right, I would like you to be hunted. We'll pop your priority up nice and high. Uh, those, I can't quite see them. Let's see. Those are a couple more fawns. Uh, we'll we'll leave the, the hinds for now. Uh, we'll leave one stag left with that herd. Let's not be too greedy. Especially when we're only going for the hides realistically because we've got loads of food. And the smithy is built and we have unlocked nails. This, in turn, is going to unlock so many new things for us. Let's go ahead and just grab a, a good healthy amount of nails. We'll have 100 nails on hand at all times. I'm not sure how much they stack to. I would assume nails stack to an enormous amount. But until we can actually see, it's best to wait on that. Uh, as for the planks, the planks stack to 50, which means that we have 300 planks worth of storage in here. So uh, given that, let's dial this one back down to 300. There we go. Now, the way that I'm working with this is if a storage is, is uh, a um, supply storage for a workshop, I want it to have a nice high priority. Eight is probably the highest I'm going to put something. That gives me a little bit more wiggle room if I'm trying to do like a high priority build and I just want to bring materials over to the worksite. But when it comes to the storage of like excess materials, like uh, the, the the output materials of the, of the workstation, I'm going to give that a relatively middle priority of just five so that if there is a workshop somewhere else that wants that material it'll pull from that location because it will probably have a, a demand of, uh, of eight versus the five that the default storage goes to and then over um, overflow storage will have a very low priority like three or something like that again leaving a little tiny bit of wiggle room uh, you've got ten priority levels why only deal with with the most extreme ones because if everything is priority ten then nothing is priority ten etc etc right there we go we're getting a lot of, uh, p of planting happening over here Amira is also helping out Amira is currently working on clearing build sites that's very interesting so I guess because I've told them to plant stuff here 
it's considered a building site, and so uh, Amira, with the building priority, is out there dealing with that. That's kind of cool. Are there any other things that Amira would like to be working on right now, though? Uh, we definitely need a little bit more clay. Pretty much always need some more clay, so let's go ahead and set that up. There we go. We've got a couple more objects. We've got storage. We've got the ash bin. We've got the bark bin, and we've got the coal bin. All of these are marvelous. The bark bin in particular, because that can go over here right next to the timbery, which will allow all of the mulch to just go straight there, or rather all of the bark to just go straight in there. I call it mulch because that's what it gets used for realistically. Um, the coal bin, we definitely want this, and we can even afford to uh, pop that down. Well, we can't place it there. Uh, I mean, it would be nice next to the charcoal area. But sadly, it doesn't look like I can find anywhere for that. Flammability is fairly low on it, though. Um, I guess we can just store this outside for now. It's fine. We've got a decent couple of spots for it. We can also have the ash bin. Uh, ash would come from the charcoalers as well. In fact, given that... Let's go ahead and move this charcoal pile right there. Now, from what I understand, uh, a, a workbench can reach two tiles away. Now, it's not two tiles in diagonals. So, for example, if we uh, bring up, well, over here. So, this uh, charcoal can reach one tile here, two tiles there. For the, um, in relation to where it can pull from a storage or place to a storage. Alternatively, it could reach one tile here, two tiles there. What it couldn't do is go one tile here, two tiles over there. From what I understand, that is uh, that is out of, of reach. Also, one tile, two tiles. So effectively, this tile is unreachable, this one, and it creates a, a diamond shape around the building. Now, I don't know where that starts from. I'm going to guess, well, I would like to say it would be focused on the activity point, but I don't know about that one. It, it's hard to say. It might be from whatever tile the workstation occupies. So a two-tile workstation would have a slightly larger reach in effect, or at least as far as like the world grid goes. But I couldn't say for certain on that one, I'm afraid. If you do happen to know yourself, though, then uh, comments are open for those suggestions. Now, we've got an Oh, wow! We've got three travel- Okay, this inn needs to grow very aggressively. Uh, Alright, well, we've got Clan Macintosh, we've got Clan Forbes, and we've got Clan Boyd. Which one would we like to upgrade? Clan Macintosh doesn't have a star yet, and all of the others do. So then, Clan Macintosh it is. Come along. Uh, get inside. Uh, there we are. The others, I'm afraid I'm going to have to ask you guys to leave, though it pings me because that is cash money walking away right there. Andrew is leaving. Only paid 26 and only getting a clan reputation of one. They apparently didn't enjoy their time there. I am suspecting, based on that, that they actually slept in here and I just didn't notice. Uh, oh well. Uh, hopefully we'll get some more uh, workers available. There we go. Uh, I'll wait for everyone to arrive first before I make my decision, because we may have a couple of extra workers as well. Uh, there we go. In fact, yes, we do. We have two. So we've got one trader and two workers. I do not need anything that you've got here, but I will take the berries, I suppose. Uh, we could sell the nails, but I'd have to send f sell 50 at a time for 20 coins, and considering it's using a very limited resource, I'm going to say no to that. So you can uh, head on out. Now, of the two workers, Krista over here is 47 a day, and Sarah is also 47, so it just comes down to where their skills lie. Uh, you've got a pretty even spread of your skills. You're, you're particularly good at repairing. I mean, that's always a nice one. And you really enjoy cooking. You really enjoy crafting. I think, Sarah, you're going to be the one that we take on. Right, we're going to ask uh, Krista to leave, I'm afraid. Uh, we no longer need anyone else here. I'm going to lock this one now to Sarah as well. There we go. Right, okay, let's get Sarah's skills set up. There we go. Sarah really likes crafting, so it should be fairly easy to keep Sarah's happiness up high, because there's always something we need crafting. Um, Janet is particularly happy with cooking, as is Elrond and Kat, so I guess the two of them can share that. But uh, we, we really do need to get planting happening a little bit more. We have not got too many more days in summer to get that done. 
Uh, I'm putting harvesting higher than planting because harvesting is a job that is needed less often. But we'll see how this goes. Hopefully we can see more of the grass being planted over here. Definitely with Amira and Bentham helping out with their building jobs and clearing the building sites as it were. And that also includes uh, pulling up the, uh, the berry bushes which involves harvesting them as well which is quite useful. Uh, we should be able to get this whole place planted. Now my goal is to then be able to harvest a decent amount of hay from it throughout autumn but we'll have to see how that one goes we have however got three idea points and i am saving up at the moment to try and get the uh the peat uh item so let's have a quick look at that now ooh, actually speaking of there are a couple of other things we need to do one of them is to get a workbench so that we can finally get the straw beds because that then unlocks the straw double bed is that the highest priority for us right now though Let's have a quick look at Bentham. You've got a while yet. Um, I think we should be able to have enough children, especially considering Amir is so young. Let's have a look at uh, Elrond and Katz. Yes, they're pretty much the same age. Uh, okay, I think we can afford... This is, this is midway through the second year, and Bentham started at the very beginning of being an adult, so we've got enough time I think to not prioritize getting the bed just yet. There are a couple of other things that I would like to get before we get down there. One of them is the water dipper because that is going to lead to the water trough. And once the, the water trough is, is a particularly high priority for our barn because that then leads to the green trough and the hay trough respectively. And those are going to be very, very important. Uh, getting the workbench is also going to lead to toilets and other great and wonderful things. But let's go ahead and grab the water dipper. And we will have enough points then for the water trough when we're ready. So we'll go ahead and pop down the water dipper. The way the water dipper works it is literally what it sounds like. Uh, they they uh, get water from it. But it's always clean water. So they'll fill that up with water jugs. And then whenever someone wants a drink, they'll go and collect it from the water dipper. Uh, once we've got the, wa the water trough, I'll add that in. Though I am thinking about expanding this area out a little bit. You see, well, if I put a wall down here, then we would have room for two, two by three rooms over here. And we're getting a lot of guests wanting to stay here each night. So that seems like it would be worth my while. In fact, I've kind of got an idea for a greatly expanded quote unquote in give me a few seconds okay this looks very messy but let me explain uh, I'm, I'm gonna change this up a little bit as well but uh right now if i place the wall down here then we'll have enough if i put a door there then we'd have enough room for two two by three rooms so that's uh, a normal room no penalty right now a large room just gives a plus one having a private room which gives plus four is much more important than that if we do the same on this side then i could effectively host four guests that is probably the most we're ever going to see now down here if i wanted to make this a huge room so when they're just hanging out in here then i could extend it down but you may notice these as well it's because whenever we accept a guest the first thing they want to do is use the toilet so i was thinking of putting some toilets down here as well but this is going to cut into the room for our animals, which would mean for them to get to all of this area, which is eventually going to be pasture, they would have to walk a fairly long way. And that is not something I really want to do. Additionally, as I was mentioning with regards to the, uh, the uh, poop places, a, a, a toilet room would be greatly enhanced if I leave the, the top wall bare so I can put a rug on it. Um, whereas if this is a door, which it would have to be, then accessing... Uh, I couldn't put a, a rug here, so it makes more sense to put the door on the bottom rather than the top. So instead, what we could do is make this area into a bit of a, uh, a toilet in there. Doors here and here, maybe windows on the sides. Though that would reduce the surface area for me to place rugs still, which isn't ideal. Maybe I could just accept that it's going to be a dark room, but someone might complain a little bit about that. It's, it's hard to say. Uh, we could have a, an entry um, doormat, a door. So this would one, two, three, four, five. So I wouldn't even need to expand down here at all. I just need to expand up a little bit. So, well, given that then, I've got a couple of options. But I think this, this is going to be the more interesting setup for us. So we'll do away with the, the floors all the way down here. 
and there as well. We've got a fair bit of work to do. I need to move this over there, rebuild that wall, and oh my lord, we only just finished this thing and I'm already tearing it up and changing things. All right, we've got two new traders. Uh, we've got fish available to us. This is from Clan Forbes. We've also got a U. I'm absolutely going to accept that. We'll take the eggs and we'll take both of the fish. Now, that was quite a lot of money to spend in one place. Uh, we could say goodbye to one of the kittens, but of course we will not. However, their parents are getting old now. Jitterbug is uh, the, the most senior in terms of age, but Persephone isn't far behind. We've got an enormous amount of planks, though, that we can sell. We can definitely make back... Pretty much all of the money we just spent there. I will, yeah, you know what, we'll take out all of your cash. There we go, back up to 1,400. And what does the other trader have to sell? Oats. Absolutely wonderful. We'll also take the oat grain. We'll take that oat sheaf. I'm not going to bother with the flax, though. Uh, they do have a bull. But I think we're going to, we're okay with that one. Uh, thank you very much indeed for that. You can take the, the bull with you. We've got some uh, rabbits making their home over here, it seems. Okay, well, they, we, they can... Eat our farmed crops, I believe. Not 100% on that, but it's definitely something we probably want to avoid where possible. Uh, now, we've got a bunch of nails. Only 20 each I will accept, along with uh, the iron ore needed to get some more ingots. Uh, we have all of the clothes we need presently, so we will go ahead and we will sell off uh, these remaining clothes there. That's fine. I'm very happy to have a new... Uh, you for the colony. Uh, sure, that seems good enough. And additionally, I would like some more uh, dehyde made. Let's uh, decorative hide, sorry. Let's go for a solid 10 and I'll see how much we have left over. But so much work left to do over here, but they are doing it so incredibly quickly. I am very, very impressed. Okay, we can now, with five idea points, unlock the water trough. And... We also need to unlock a certain specific door type as well. The straw curtain, we're going to get that one unlocked too. Now, when we bought the, the fish, uh, one thing I didn't do is actually set up a cook fish order. So we should probably get that one done uh, nice and quickly there. There we go. Uh, we've got a decent amount of uh, fish to be able to store. Uh, hopefully we can get uh, the remaining items in here brought in. But where is... Our priority for hauling is somewhat low, actually. Um, all right, Sarah, I'm going to say I would like hauling done above harvesting for you. We're going to need that moved uh, a little bit faster. But now that we have unlocked the new door type, if we have a look over here, the straw curtain, while it doesn't offer any happiness to anyone in uh, for having it, it allows heat to transfer through so for a fairly small in which for better or worse this is uh, this is going to allow us to move heat into these rooms without needing extra wall space for vents i mean i could do it down here and then have another vent pushing up heat over there that would allow us to put down the straw door which does give a little bit of environmental happiness but i think this is a better design overall for us now can i place a poop spot over here i really don't know we might not be able to because of the rock nah sadly we can't okay well that means this is going to have to wait until we've got a toilet uh the other things that we've got though we do now have a water trough so let's go ahead and place one of these in here and once we've got that we'll be able to pop down a hay trough and a grain trough as well uh, additionally let's uh, let's have a quick look how far away is the toilet the toilet is going to require the workbench which sadly is a good many points uh, away but uh, i suppose we could get up to the the workbench and then to the toilet in the not too distant future i think these are both going to automatically unlock as soon as we've built the water trough so i don't need to reserve any idea points for that so sure we'll hold on and uh, wait to try and get the uh, workbench set up and then with that we'll be able to put down some proper toilets and additionally of course we'll be able to hang some uh, decorations as well and, and to that end let's go ahead and place in the uh, the wall tiles there there we go that should make this space a much nicer place for them oh 
Aleron and Cats have decided to uh, cook down here. No, no, no. We don't want that. No cooking over here. Thank you very much. There we go. Hay trough has been unlocked. And I can only imagine the grain trough too. Now, I'm not going to tell them to store anything in here. So hopefully these will get built. And then we'll promptly, they will uh, promptly uh, pr uh, stop uh, sorry, rather, I can uh, probably tell them to pause construction here so that they don't try to actually load this with hay or grain because I, I really would rather than not. So we're going to stop that, though it actually only takes a, a fairly small amount. But this is a super high priority building. Uh, and you know what? Yeah, because it, it does uh, pertain to the survival of our livestock. I'm going to let them remain a priority nine. But for the time being, I only want them to store uh, a little bit of, food, uh, of of water in here, not the food. I'm happy for my animals to go ahead and graze outside instead. Okay, there we go. The inn, for all intents and purposes, is complete. We've even managed to put one of the wall hides up in there. Now we just need to get the place properly cleaned up. This is now considered a private room, so I'm going to give this to one of our workers. Agnes, you can have this one. I will give this one to Janet, and this one will go to Sarah. Now, I'm going to let you all know that if we have guests, you have to sleep elsewhere. So I'm going to keep the other beds around. Though I might make a separate room as like a kind of barrack. But whilst there's no one around, then this this can be for you. Until we are consistently bringing in uh, multiple guests each night, then this should be okay. Now, I'm not entirely certain that this one fireplace is going to be enough for this whole room. We'll have to see how that goes. But uh, for the time being, this seems reasonable. Uh, we do still need more decorations. That's going to continue to be a case now that I've already planted those down. Now, there is one other thing that I would like to look for, and that is the herb rack. Now, it might automatically unlock once we've got enough. Uh, yes, it looks like we need some thistle for that. So let's look for some thistle. Is this thistle over here? There we are. Yes, it is. Of course it is. All right, there we go. I may not be Scottish, but I've lived here long enough to know the difference between the look at, of thistle and heather from a distance. Okay, it's coming into evening on the seventh day, and I have, uh, for the time being, although you might not think it, uh, drastically upgraded the priority for our workers uh, to haul things. And it is, they are cleaning things up, it is just taking a long time. But uh, we will probably see our workers head in here for the first time uh, in the... Uh, since we set up the inn, let's actually uh, unlock these beds so that they don't prioritize these over sleeping in, in private quarters. We do have a poop place now. Uh, let's actually have a look at this room. If we have a look in there, it's only minus 410, which is uh, much better than usual. For example, if we look over here, this is minus 510. Uh, the bedrooms are still a bit of a mess, though. So these private rooms currently giving an environment of 10, an environment of 10 down there, it is considered a room, uh, just a regular room. This is a large room with an environment of 10 as well, so uh, things are looking quite nice. Let's see how many uh, guests we have. We've only got one guest tonight, so you are actually safe. You're not going to lose your bed, though I do need this to specifically tell you to go there. Now, if we have a separate barrack for our workers, then I can put a door on it that only allows workers in, not guests. So I don't need to keep having to redesignate. And to that end, I think we're going to go ahead and start digging away the roof of the, uh, the mountain over here to give me access to dig out a new room back here. Eventually, I'm going to want to radically expand our freezer. We've only got seven day, 17 days worth of food here, but considering the amount of people that are eating here, that's eight people it's calculating into that, into that prediction. We've got a lot of food. The other thing that I've noticed is uh, we are actually making some good progress over here. But if we look at the fertilization, these fields are completely, uh, completely soaked in fertilizer. So, I think what we will do in the last days of summer, we're going to plant some fertilizer down around here and just encourage grass to grow by itself. So, to that end, we're going to come in here. Do we automatically have that? Do we have the job automatically? Yes, add fertilizer. All right. So, in the spaces that I think we're going to have our animals uh, pastured, I'm just going to tell them to fertilize this soil. Uh, you can use all the fertilizer we have 
for that. That is, that is way more than we actually have fertilizer for, so we're not going to have to worry about that. Additionally, we now have access to the workbench, or we can have access to the workbench. So let's go ahead and unlock you. Now, we ultimately want to get down to the straw bed and the straw double bed. But where are we going to put this workbench? <laughs> Uh, we have run out of space to put buildings a long time ago. I do need to get a proper area for this setup. But for now, I guess having the workbench over there is fine. Uh, this will hopefully not take them too long to build. And then in two more idea points time, we can actually get some really nice beds. Agnes should be super happy with this. A private room. And they're already an optimist. So their satisfaction is completely maxed out. Now, you can absolutely farm your workers for satisfaction and for clan reputation as a consequence. I'm not really looking to do that right now. That's a lot of micromanaging. And I kind of like the idea of just having, kind of taking on a group of workers at the beginning of a season and having that group of workers throughout the rest of the season. Obviously, we made some exceptions for uh, trying to uh, get a good candidate to join the clan. But... Uh, Outside of that, I'm happy with just letting the people that we've got have a good time here and then sending them off at the end of the season. Assuming they don't leave earlier than that because they didn't have a good time, but we'll see how that goes. But it is currently night seven of the second summer and things are going well. Oh dear. It looks like we actually have two guests tonight. So, Marlon, uh, sorry, Marion Marlon, uh, from Clan Forbes, uh, welcome on in. And Don from Clan Boyd, welcome, welcome. Uh, you will be sleeping down here because Sarah is going to be sleeping up here instead. There we go. And let's just make sure that both of you are actually assigned to your correct beds there we go again it's going to be nice when we don't have to do all of that micromanagement but we are as you can see gradually getting things in order slowly little by little <laughs> our uh our clan is actually taking care of the the the, the little jobs the, the things that make a, a place uh, a home worth living in uh we have been upgrading the paths to mulch paths where possible we've still got a, a fair bit to go but it's coming along now the workbench does all of the jobs as far as i'm aware of the work zone let's just double check pretty much everything should be the same yeah so that means the work zone is completely surplus to demand in fact it is a bad version of the workbench the workbench is marvelous we're going to have that one in there though we don't have a roof over here so our bloomery is currently turned off i hadn't noticed that we hadn't roofed this area let me actually bring up the uh, roof zone there we go and we'll get this properly roofed in in fact i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to replace as much of this as we can there we go with with uh, straw roofs we have got an enormous amount of straw roofs at this point far cry from the days where we didn't but we've got uh, plenty of straw some flax stems as well probably want to look into flax retting at some point as well uh, but for now that seems like uh, like an okay uh, setup that we have here and we have technically got three places that uh, people can go to the toilet as well which is actually quite useful but we've got two idea points down here so it is high time for us to unlock the straw beds there we go we're just going to straight up save up for the double straw bed i'm not going to place regular straw beds over here but i will upgrade these straw beds wherever possible uh raw fish that's fine so this is going to require a little bit more but it has much better sleep benefits it'll be easier for uh, easier for us to compare by looking in here so the sleep map gives uh, 8 sleep per second and 4 health per second. This gives 10 and 5 respectively. It is still highly flammable though. Uh, well, I guess I, I could uh, replace the uh, beds in here with the upgraded versions. And then as soon as we get double beds, just move these down into the guest quarters. Uh, that also works, I suppose. We'll do that on the morrow, though, so I don't interrupt their sleep right now. I'm undecided on whether I want to change the flooring in the barn from dirt to uh, actual like stone, for example, as we have over here, or not. I, I kind of feel like they might be happier sleeping on, on the dirt rather than on... on uh, flagstone floor but who knows right let's have a quick look at the traders uh, lots of logs i will happily take them uh we're not going to sell anything so that's good 
we have got something I wasn't expecting. The potential to get chickens. I am going to say no to that for this year. We do have enough time to set up an expanded barn for chickens, but there's a little bit more involved in having a chicken coop than might uh, you might first uh, imagine, because we're going to want a, a coop for a, a rooster and a coop for just hens as well. So a, a rooster and a hen, so that they're producing eggs that the hen will, will then roost on and will hatch into a new chicken, and then a coop purely for hens so that we've got edible eggs and that's a little bit more involved than i really want to get into right now however i will happily sell a stupid amount of planks and in fact i'm going to take all of your money thank you very much oh well, i'll leave you with some uh have we got yeah i'll take all of your money in fact that's going to give them a hundred clan reputation with them that's actually pretty amazing and there we go, we've unlocked the herb rack, and not only that, but we have built our first straw bed, which I'm very happy with. And so we're pulling these two down, because this one is almost ready to be built. And once those two are pulled down, I'm just going to build another two in their place. And then once they're done, I'll just remove these ones. That way we don't risk the the, the possibility of anyone uh, getting assigned the wrong bed. But the herb rack is going to be particularly nice for us. Although it is a storage item, having heather or thistle stored on the herb rack whilst it's it's uh kind of in game referred to as a, as a medicine or, or medicinal uh relevance i as far as i'm aware that hasn't been implemented but it is still a pretty thing so we're gonna have a herb rack probably in most bedrooms i should imagine uh or at the very least most communal rooms uh sure we'll, we'll pop it one in there we'll pop another one up there and these will in turn help with the environment it has to have the heather and thistle stored on it though for it to count so it uh, if it's empty it does nothing it, it's not a decoration in and of itself okay how many guests have we got tonight only one tonight let's get you in then rent a bed to isabel from Clan Anderson, and we can now see that this already has some heather and thistle on it. And I love the fact that it actually shows it as well. If we look at this tile, we can see that this is giving an environment of 30 points. This room by itself has 335. This room is 80. I imagine all of them have got 80 in there. Uh, there we go. That is wonderful. Right, we need to get some more beds done as well. That's something that can be worked on uh, tomorrow. And then promptly moved into these rooms. There we go. How warm is this room compared to outside? Outside is 15 degrees. Are all of these 25? Yes. Presently, they're all good. This one is 21 degrees. Could possibly do with a little bit more heat in there. In fact, to that end, I will queue up some vents to be uh, installed. There we go. I won't put it right above the bed. Uh, but we are more than likely going to expand our barn as well. So, with that in mind, let's go ahead and just bulk that out. This should give us a pretty solid size for a barn. Plenty of room for our animals to sleep and, and to have both of the dogs in there and lots of potential pet beds uh, moving forward. I think that will be a really nice expansion. We've got loads of straw right now so we don't need to worry about the uh, the windows, uh, sorry, the, the roof either. So I'm talking about windows because I was looking at the windows at the time and thinking about putting a couple more in there. You don't need it. You only need one window to provide all of the light necessary, but I think it's nice to have a couple more. Right, let's have a look. Agnes straight back to uh, lumbering. Probably going to be working on that for quite some time. We need some more water out here because summer is a dry season. Go figure. All right. Okay. Passing a little bit more time, though. It is the morning of the last day of summer. All right. Because we were building over the peat bog, it prompted one of our clan folk to go and dig that up. And so now we have unlocked a couple of other items. We've actually unlocked peat for the first time. That's something that we've kind of been needing to get onto for a while. Uh, additionally, we have enough points now to unlock the double straw bed. So, with that in mind... Oh, wow, that's actually pretty cool. Let's go ahead and try and set two of these up. Now, I want these to be done as fast as they possibly can. Uh, to that end, uh, let's go ahead and place one in here. Uh, I would like to pop the other one in there but uh, that's gonna have to wait these can now go so I'm just gonna break these down for the straw 
because we are going to be able to move the beds from in there straight down. In fact, I want this done as a priority, so I'm going to bump this up. And as I was saying about the uh, having the priorities uh, with a little bit of extra room so that you can make things very, very high priority without um, having to click on it and make it the highest priority. Again, I feel that that is a bit excessive. And uh, now we need to get a double bed over here as a massive priority as well. In fact, I'm going to put that... Yeah, you know what? I could could just uh, click on that one. Make it the very next job that anyone is going to do. But there is a downside to... Oh, they put two of those on the last couple. Cool. Um, there is a downside to this in that I believe this means who the, the next person who has a free job is going to do it. Not necessarily the best builder, which is the problem. Elaine... Welcome. Come on in. You find yourself a spot to uh, sleep at. There you go. And these can then be reassigned back to our jobbers. Well, we expanded this in expecting to have loads of guests, but it seems that that was a bit of a one-off, really. I'm a little bit disappointed about it. Uh, I am very concerned. Ah, oh, no, it's time off time. All right. No to you. No to you. We need this done. It was so close. We just needed the nails and the time. Do we have the nails? Yeah, we do. And then it's just time after that. So someone's going to be up all night. Sorry about that one, but uh, we do need that worked on. Uh, where are the animal beds? There you go. We'll pop those in there. Get a nice amount of them. And done. Perfect. This goes to Amira and Elrond and Cats. And this goes to Bentham and Kyra, now you two can stop being on overwork and can go about your stuff. There you go. Sarah, why are you in there? Did you just decide that that was... You know what? That's fine, I guess. I mean, you have a bed down here, but... Oh, well, maybe I do need to tear those up, but... Uh, or at least put them into storage. You know what? I could put them into storage and then pull them out whenever I need them. Sure, that actually makes a lot of sense. It also will prevent them from uh, stealing the covers as well, which would be quite nice. Okay, are, are the wolves hunting the deer outside? Why are you going down here? Oh, you're grabbing some gnomes. Fair enough. That does make sense. Right, we've got uh, a pet bed that needs to be repaired. But that is it. We have made it through. Unfortunately, we didn't get the barracks set up, which was kind of a... a passing priority but as you can see all of those planting jobs are gone now because there's there's nothing more to do uh we can't plant anything more so whatever's still left is all that we've got and there's no point in having any of these jobs because this well i mean the fertility would would persist and so um potentially more would would grow uh, later on, but we've got some uh, wolf hide out there. We are going to need on a, to go on a fairly big hay gathering spree. There's still some uh, things to collect, though oats and the likes. Uh, we do not need to. Well, okay, we we there's no point in even trying to go up there to to cut down reeds. We've already done it. But what I would like to do in the next episode, we have got points to spend. There are a couple of things that we could do. A fishing spot, for example. This is extremely useful because it doesn't matter if the water is frozen. They will do ice fishing if you get there. So you've got a consistent source of food all the way through winter. Another thing that's important to get before winter entombs us is a bathtub so they can actually wash themselves throughout winter. As you saw in the last winter, they were not happy with the fact that they hadn't been able to properly wash in quite some time. Uh, we've also got the stone quarry. We've got the clay pit. We can now start making iron tools. And this is going to unlock these things. So, for example, the clay pit needs an iron hoe. The stone quarry needs an iron pickaxe. Uh, the, many of the other buildings around here are going to need uh, iron in some way or another. But I think the first thing we're going to go for is more than likely toilets. And then after that, we'll start uh, moving through and trying to pick out the next most important thing. Probably tiled peat stoves, if I'm perfectly honest. But that is going to be it. I hope you enjoyed our path through 
through summer. It was a fairly productive summer, I feel. We've got a massively expanded inn, and this is a proper inn at this point. I feel that this is deserving of the title inn, and soon we're going to have proper toilets in there as well. We have greatly expanded out our barn, though there's still a little bit of work yet to do. And we've also got some proper beds for our clan folk. In fact, let's just have a quick check. Uh, let's see... Oh, there we are. You actually list your pets. That's actually pretty amazing. Okay, so you're not pregnant. You weren't in a good enough mood yet. Uh, Kyra, let's have a look at you. Bentham wastes no time. Kyra was very, very happy. Bentham was very happy. So we, we've got uh, a new baby on the way. I imagine it's probably not that far away for Amira and Aleron and Cats, though. We just need to work on their mood a little bit. Aleron, yeah, you seem reasonably happy, but uh, you could probably do with a couple of pets. I bet that would help. And I spotted you there, rat. Don't think I missed you. Okay, we need some uh, rat traps in the larder, it seems. But that is going to be it from me. I really do hope you've enjoyed. I hope you're looking forward to the next episode where we will be covering Autumn Year 2. And after that, on to winter. But until then, and as always, do take care, everyone. <laughs>